But anyways, Robert Murdoch hosted Ron DeSantis at his California ranch and told him Fox News will support him. We've always knew that Fox News was looking for a way out. They they hated Donald Trump from the get-go, and we know from the leaked text messages and everything that they never warmed up to Trump. They kind of showed signs that they were. They had a lot of pro-Trump ads. They had Trump on Fox News a lot with Hannity and all that, but they were never pro-Trump. They hated him, couldn't stand him, but they knew Trump was good for views. Trump was good for clicks. The same thing, a lot of people, we don't have to name all the companies right now and get on the infighting, but there are a lot of conservative companies who only tolerated Trump because they knew that's how they get the views, that's how they get the clicks. And they were just desperate for anyone. That's I think they were, you know, latching on the Ron so much it's just because it's someone who's not trump but we got so we can get rid of this guy finally because there's a lot of people who is the second run announced my god i i never unfollow people even when they piss me off on like social media i just i don't care enough about social media to do that to like go into my followers and unfollow this person but if they're like constantly posting something where i'm just like i don't I don't need this shit, man. I'll unfollow. But it's like they went crazy. Some people went crazy attacking Trump the second uh, Ron DeSantis announced. I'm like, oh, I always knew you were a grifter. Rupert Murdoch hosted Ron DeSantis at his a ranch in Bel Air. Rich ass snob. Since then, Murdoch and Fox Corp fired its top host, Tucker Carlson, who was a favorite of the Trump mega crowd. Of course, you have to fall in line at Fox News or GTFO. Fox News, excuse me, Fox News has implemented a soft ban on President Trump. The news channel is suffering from his, uh, suffering from this new direction. Fox News has lost nearly half of its audience since firing Tucker Carlson. That is insane. I knew it was a lot. I didn't know it was half, actually. Well, nearly half. I don't know why people watch Fox News anyway. It's it's incredible. It's really just for old people. Unless you're like a 90 year old grandpa who doesn't have social media, then like I don't understand why you'd be watching that. There's no good shows left. Dan Bongino's gone now. Tucker Carlson. Hannity's one of the most annoying people on television. I can't stand him. He's so irritating. I like, I just. I, I don't know how people tolerate it. I don't know how he's so popular. Um, Newsmax is basically Fox News light, with the exception of Greg Kelly. Real America Voice is where it's at. Steve Bannon's network. Well, it's not his network, but, I mean, he's like the you know, the face of it, pretty much. Great, great network over there. The conservative news mongol invited Florida governor to his uh, Bel Air ranch. In California for dinner you know, in 2020 ensured him that Fox would support his potential presidential run in 2024. That's what I like. Like all these like super rich elites that are scummy who hate not just Trump, but they hate the MAGA base. They hate these MAGA voters who've never voted once before in their life and came out for the first time ever to vote for Trump. They hate them. They hate me. I'm one of them voters. Well, I didn't vote for the first time for Trump, but he was the only candidate I ever voted for that I was enthusiastic about. 2016, I, I can't say I was super enthusiastic about voting for Trump, but um, I was in 2020, and I am going to be in 2024. Earlier this year, signs of the, yeah, we, we know, blah, 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 some rich guy, you know, it's, it's giving Ron DeSantis millions and millions of dollars.